welcome back to another video now today isn't a pc build but if you're like me and you don't have enough usb ports or if your motherboard didn't come with a usb type c port then this video is for you i'm about to show you step by step how to add more usbs and be able to fully connect your usb type c onto a motherboard that doesn't have the pins but before we start please like comment subscribe it boosts my video up the youtube algorithm so that i can continue to make bangers like this for you and if there's anything else that you want me to make a video on please drop it in the comment section below i reply to all comments as long as they're nice and we're trying to hit our goal of a thousand subscribers so please 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 go hit that subscribe button destroy that subscribe button and i think i'm getting word of a partnership before we get into the video i have partner up with doobie energy doobie is a clean energy drink that is focused on not giving you no crashes or jitters unlike other energy drinks but we're not going to talk about them so this energy drink is is made in the USA. It has zero sugar, artificial color, or dyes, and is gluten free. It contains vitamins, amino acids, and 150 milligrams of caffeine. Honestly, the best thing about this is that the drinks come out to be about $1 or less per drink, which is a lot less than Starbucks, a lot less than these other energy drinks, and most importantly, it's more healthier. If you are somebody who suffers from having the jitters after drinking energy drinks, I recommend Doobie. Use code Chief Mallow for 10% off at checkout. Everything is in the description below. And with Without further ado, let's get to the video. So we're gonna start off with adding our extra USB ports to our PC here. So this is my streaming PC. A lot of people haven't seen it before. So here's me kind of showing you. So this PC, I have everything hooked up to. And what I wanted to do was add in the extra camera, but I don't have any more USB ports. So I have to add on USB ports. You know, if you're a streamer, most times you're gonna run out of USB ports. This is the actual piece that we need. It's pretty simple. We're just gonna screw the screw off here so we can pop the front off, place the glass down on the ground. And then you can see here, my fingers pointing that's exactly where the port is that we want to plug it in opening up the usb box this is what comes with it the usb itself mounting screws which are nice that they have black and silver depending on which type of pc you got and it comes with a disc that you don't really need but we take the extra usb chip out of the bag and then we plug it in there as you can see there's a short side and a long side so we just plug the long side and where it needs to be there's only one way it can go in so it's really hard to mess that up we're just going to place the chip in right here just so we can see which case cover we need to take off and it's that one so as you see my finger pointing there we're just going to screw the protector off of here both sides take the side off take the screw off we're going to save this screw and then we're just going to slide the case cover off of the case just like so and then we're actually going to install the part so it's pretty simple you just put it in like i said the long side goes where the long piece is and the short side goes where the short piece is you might have to move the bracket down a little bit it's fine you're not breaking it just move it down and screw the screw in that came off of the case cover and this is what we're looking like right now so now that it is installed all we have to do is put everything back on just like how we found it so take our case put it back up let's put our case cover on make sure that we clip everything on how it's supposed to be screw that in tight moving on to the back side we're just going to screw the mounting cover on and bam we are good so diving into our next part here what we have is a 19 pin usb 3.0 adapter to a usb 2.0 adapter and then we have a usb 3.0 to a USB type C adapter. So just a little context here. There is one part that goes from USB 2.0 to USB type C. The only issue is that I could not find it nowhere, not even online for it to be shipped to me. So I had to get these two adapters. So this is my gaming PC. My motherboard did not come with a USB type C connection. So I had to have these two adapters to use it. So diving straight into it, we're gonna unscrew the front panel off here and then place a PC on its backside so that we can get the over the top look. Where well, my finger is pointing now, that is the USB 2.0 connection. Opening the box from the USB 2.0 connection to the 19 pin connection that we need here. This is what it looks like. That part that I'm pointing to is the empty box and it needs to match up with the empty port that is there. So we just plug that straight into it like this. And then we're just gonna push the 19 pin connector to the back of the case. Move those cores that's around it and then push it all the way there. Moving on to the back side, pop the back plate off, take those two screws off so we can take this magnetic panel off. And then we need to find find our 19 pin connector, which is there. Now opening up our USB 3.0 to our USB type C adapter here. It's just a small little piece, nothing too much. It comes in these small little Ziploc bags. Really hard to miss if you're not careful. So what we're looking at is our 19 pin 
female here and then our 19 pin male is here what we have to make sure is that that block there is the same matching with the no pin there if you don't remember that there is an actual lump right here it's like a little clip that plugs into like that space right there pretty much clips into there and then you plug it in here just like so to make sure that there's no space between the clip and then it's okay if there's space in between the adapter and the 19 pin so now we find the usb type c cord that is for our case and as you can see i already have it cable managed there so i'm just going to bring the adapter closer so i don't have to take that off take off the protector and to make sure we're plugging in this in correctly there is a big gap right here in our adapter and then there's like this small little skinny tall gap here on the other side and then for the usb type c case cord that we have here you see that there's a small skinny side here and then a fatter side on the other side of the cord so we just have to plug it in accordingly it should sound like this when you plug it in Then you push our cords down, make sure we got everything right. Push our magnetic piece back on the magnetic flap, add in our nails here and here, take off our protector cap. You don't want that lost in the case. And we put the back plate on, screw it in, put the front plate on, flip it in, screw it in, and we're all good. So yeah, if you made it to this part of the video, you have to give me a thumbs up. And there's no driver updates you have to download to my knowledge. As long as your motherboard is updated, you shouldn't have to do anything extra. And it does work. I'm able to add in that extra camera that I wanted right here. It's a little darker right now. I don't have all the settings up, but yeah, we got the camera hooked up. We got the extra port that we needed. I guess this is like a little bit of the gaming room update as well. So switching back to the wide view, you can see we almost have all the panels hooked up. We almost have everything hooked up. We got our video game case with our Funko Pops there and our Naruto Hokage up there. You can't really see all of it on this camera, but I'm going to switch to my phone real quick. So yeah, this is my phone. A little, the audio is a little bit bad, but yeah, we got the Naruto and Sasuke on top. The Naruto Hokage has not come out yet. It comes out January 23rd. So depending on when this video drops, it might have just came out or it might not have. I don't know. But we finished putting up some panels. I ran out of nails. So this wall is kind of lame. We have to get some more smaller nails for that wall. This is what the front side is looking like. We got all the noise panel there. Have to put nails on those two because those two fall for some reason but yeah no this is a quick little update on the wall on the noise thing we're still putting everything up so that we can stop getting that echo the gaming room setup is like that as you can see my thumbs up <laughs> so yeah that's a little little bit of an update there so now that we're back here listen we've been dropping youtube videos every day and we're not going to stop go ahead watch some of these videos, thumbs up some of these videos so that you guys can be up to date on everything that we do. We are going to continue dropping bangers. I promise you, I promise you nothing but bangers, gaming videos, tech videos. The goal is for me for this whole year, two tech videos a month and gaming videos coming out every day. If not every day, at least once every other day. But as of right now, we're dropping gaming videos every single day. So subscribe, like, comment. I'm telling you, we're building this community. Discord is in the description below. Let me know what you guys think. If there's any ideas you want me to do, drop it in the comment section. I promise I will see it. If you want to join the community, join the Discord. I'm telling you, it's lit. We got a bunch of channels there. We have a bunch of people there. Join the Discord, start a conversation. I'm there, Jarvis is there, everyone's there. So join the Discord, I promise you won't regret it. But that's it for me for today. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, whether it's school, work, life. I hope it just flourishes in every aspect. But until next time, I will see you guys, peace.